what's happening folks it is me jimmy g in the place to be gonna see if we can we b d e f g i don't have my rhymes because look at this i am not a rhymer uh but welcome to the good the bad the awesome where we review all things pop culture mainly transformer star wars sprinkled in with a little bit of everything else so you get my first reactions to a lot of stuff and so if this is your first time here go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button so you can get notified of any of my zany stupidness and then if you've been here before thank you for putting up with my zany stupidness uh so we are going to get into a transformer today uh but before we do that just a quick reminder we do have our july giveaway still going on and we also have our 400 giveaway going on so make sure you get on that make sure you get in it and let's get some free stuff so uh but today we're going to look at a transformer from a company called iron factory and so i've bought a few of these i have yet to transform one uh so one of them i bought was open box already transformed for me but didn't come with instructions or anything so i just did not want to venture out because I'm, I'm a novice when it comes to transforming things i'm it's just not that great at it yet uh matter of fact i still need help uh with instructions on how to put my socks on uh but i've got this iron factory one i've been holding off on because i was waiting for uh the legacy one to come out which if y'all remember i did a review on which is devcon and so i've got him right here just to remind you there was DevCon. As you know, Autobot, Galactic Bounty Hunter, hunting down Decepticons and uh, kicking butt and taking names. That is him here. I like him. Really cool. Scourge uh, remold here of the sweeps. Uh, all that. So, but Iron Factory made a legend scale one called Galaxy Ranger. And so we're going to take a look at Galaxy Ranger. We're going to go through some articulation, see how easy it is to transform, compare him to some other bots, but kind of say, which one should you get? Should you get this one or should you get this one? This one's cheaper, but this one may be cooler. So let's find out. So let's go to my lab and let's take a look at Galaxy Ranger. Let's do it. And here he is, Galaxy Ranger IFEX-49R from Iron Factory. Looks like it was made in 2021. So I'm a little late to the party, but you know what? I may not be the first one to the party, but I might be the best dressed, or I'm just a procrastinator. Uh, but Iron Factory, great third-party company that makes legend scale figures. A lot of them are uh, more the IDW take on the figures, uh, but, uh, but they make some of the really cool ones. They make a Samurai Grimlock that I have, I haven't opened them yet, that we're going to review at some time, that looks really, really cool. But, uh, but really like Iron Factory, if you haven't checked out their stuff, check out their stuff. You can find them on um, TF Source, uh, Big Bad Toy Store, um, or if you're willing to wait like I did, you can get them overseas from BombusB.net or ShowZ Store, as well as a few others out there. And I'll make some, I'll sh get into my links down below. You can see where you can buy them. Uh, but this is it. This is the packaging for Galaxy Ranger. So let's bring it in a little bit closer so we can take a look at it. So we can see him in his robot mode. We also see him in his alt form, which is a spaceship like Scourge. And so we got right here the side with another little bit of box art there. The back just showing some different poses you can put them in. Also the QR code from Iron Factory. Um, one of the things I'm excited about Iron Factory releasing, they're going to be releasing... Um, Oh, gosh, uh, from Transformers Victory, they're going to be releasing the Lyokaiser uh, set, uh, which I can't wait for that. Iron Factory 2021 on the bottom saying, hey, kids under three, please do not eat this. Uh, but that is it so far for my uh, initial look at them. So what we're going to do through the magic of camera editing, we're going to get them out of the box right now. Here he is out of the box and on to my messy table uh we have galaxy ranger aka devcon so some things you get with it inside of the box of course you get devcon himself which we'll take a closer look at you also get the instructions that tells you hey this is how you transform this guy so hopefully i can follow these a lot of times these instructions are no good to me i'm not good with them you also get his gun you get some extra hands and whatever that is right there. We'll figure that out there too as well. But you get uh, two, 
for six extra pair of hands uh, to be able to have. And this mystery surprise, what could it be? So let's open this up and see what it could be. Oh my gosh, that that's cool. That is, I don't know if you can see that really well, but it's transparent. It's a card of uh, Mr. Galaxy Ranger. That's one of the things I like about the third party companies. You get these collectible cards that are really, really cool. Uh, this was number one, two, three, three. I don't know what that means, but uh, it says here's SGC 13th Limited. Whatever that means too as well. Uh, but uh, really cool digging this card here so uh some very very cool stuff so let's move this stuff out of the way let's move this over to the side and let's get to the main event and that's going to be galaxy ranger himself in the flesh ready to show you all what he can do and strut his stuff let me get some lighting to illuminate our path here a little bit better and so let's bring him in closer for a closer look so take a look at that beautiful face sculpt i like it i like it a lot and there he is from the front from the side from the back from the side and back to the front one of the things i like about iron factories figures is they're very angular look to them they look really really cool uh really really awesome the paint job on here is very nice um, the face is really cool uh, so let's take a look at a few bits of articulation uh, so you do get the head does spin it is on a ball joint uh, so you can kind of pose it how you like uh, then the arm you can get that out like so uh, can you spin it yeah, it's on a ball joint too as well. The elbow is on a, on a spin rotation. You do have some 90 degree there. You can't go all the way back with the arm because the wings are in the way. Uh, but you do get an ab crunch. You do get, I believe, some rotation there too as well. Joints nice and tight. Really good. I'm not going to force the issue there a little bit. Then we look at the legs. Let's see how far can he go out. He can't go out that far. Let's see. Boom. That's about it. That's about it. That's all you get. Uh, but from a back, you can go here. But it's on a ball joint, so you can kind of mess around with that. And then the knee, you get a 90 degree knee bend uh, from the front. You do get, you got to move these skirts out of the way a little bit, I think. Uh, but yeah, you do get some, uh, that's, that's it for the front. Wow. Uh, to move his leg. Uh, but, uh, and then the foot you have some up and down got a little ankle rock in there too as well so we have some pretty good articulation with him uh, legend scale he's about no bigger than four inches um, I'll give you the exact specs down below on how big he is but let's put him down thank you for letting me do some calisthenics on you here mr. galaxy ranger but you're going to stand here and we're going to compare you to some people. So first of all, let's compare him to the Transformers Legacy Evolution DevCon. And so first of all, let's take a look. DevCon, let's move your arm down a little bit so we can kind of see a little bit closer. The face sculpt. There's his face. There's his face. His face. His face. His face. Uh, but... Uh, I'm digging the darker blue on this side, and I love the look. This is really clean. This is really G1-ish right here, whereas this, it's got a little bit of a different look uh, on that, uh, and the white instead of the silver. Um, and from an articulation standpoint, I mean, this guy has more articulation, hands down, than this DEFCON right here. Uh, so Iron Factory is going to win in the articulation. But height-wise, height you can tell he's he's a little shorter. He's the, like the you know the miniature DEFCON there. Uh, Gun-wise, you can see silver gun there, the white gun here. So that's the differences there. But I do like the fact you can change out the fists into something else, whereas you're stuck with these here. So let's move you two back here and let's uh, move DevCon kind of right behind. 
there. Now let's move him out of the way because I want you to see some other. So here is Iron Factory's Cyclonus. So you can kind of see from a size standpoint as well there what they look like. Um, we also have New Age's Beachcomber. So itty bitty guy right there. Okay, come on, stand up. Stand up, dude. Here we go. Um, I got a Core Class Megatron, Transformers Legacy Core Class. And then let's get a little bigger. Let's go over to a Voyager Class Tarn. And we'll put the Deluxe Class DevCon there. And then last but not least, let's bring in a Legend Scale Combiner known as Menasaur. And you can kind of see how much bigger he towers over those guys. So if we removed the Voyager class, the Core class, and the Deluxe class, here is your Legend Scale kind of Legend Scale class look here. Very nice. I think they scale really well together there. So what I love, again, if you ever hear me talk about Legend Scale, is they are what I consider masterpiece transformation in a small, small package. So you get some really challenging. Some people like it. Some people don't. I'm kind of in the middle. I think once I get more experience with it, I think I would be better at it. So uh, let's move you all out of the way because we're going to transform DevCon and get him into his alt mode. So we can take a look at that. And we're also going to get him in some various poses and stuff like that too as well. So we can see him in his posing. So let's come back together in just a moment. Okay, it's time to transform. I've got my instructions here. One of the things I forgot to show y'all that I like, you can peg his gun right in here too as well. So you can keep his arms free, I mean his hands free. And the hands, it's uh, when you pull it off, I'll show you here. It's just on a little like, you know, ball right there. So very easy to put on and off, uh, no difficulty at all. So. This is the part that's either fun or frustrating, and that is transformation. So let's give this a whirl and let's see how well I do. This is my first time transforming him. This is my first time transforming anything by Iron Factory. And I'll tell you what, these instructions don't look very uh, user-friendly to me. So we'll, we'll see if we can figure it out, uh, but let's do it. transformed it took me about 12 minutes but i was able to get it done these instructions are a little confusing and the joints are a little tight what i wish they had was there's more i wish there was more pegs to know that hey i did the right thing really it all doesn't come together till you get these wing parts where they need to go but here he is in his alt mode again kind of a a uh take on sweep this 
this is what's gonna, this is annoying me. Maybe I did it wrong, but this is I'll show you here in just a moment. But um, yeah, here he is in that alt mode. So let's take a closer look at him. Let's bring in some illumination. Da, 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 da. And so there is the top and the bottom very very clean that's one thing i do like it's very clean you can't really tell what is what but it is an extremely nice design uh with it there's the back which is his jet engines you can see this is where the head is right here uh it took me a little bit to figure out some of the pieces there uh there is the side view the front view and this is what's bugging me right here i need to work that a little bit because it's not flush and then here you can kind of see it's just, just some workmanship, some craftsmanship there. Uh, just needs a little work. Uh, but I think it's partly because there's a joint. Let me show you here if I can pull it apart. Um, right here, this thing, that was kind of a tough little booger to kind of get out there and make it, you know, kind of stay as straight as you need it to. And then you kind of got to plug them, plug them back in together in harmony and see if that will fix what I need it to fix. There, that's a little bit better. Not great, but a little bit better. But that's 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 bugging me a little bit. But I do like the angular design of this ship. It is very cool. One of the things I wish it had was a little flight like peg that I can do a little flight stand there, but we'll see if we can kind of uh, make him make him do what I need it to do. Um, the other thing too is just you just got to work it a little bit just to make it all straight but overall very cool spaceship and again uh it is a remold of iron factory's scourge uh the sweeps which i'll do later on because I'm, I'm gonna do a whole unicorn unicron trilogy because i've got the pumpkin uh unicron and i've got the iron factory galvatron out the iron factory of course cyclonus and some other things but let's bring in the alt mode for Legacy Core DevCon. And there you can kind of see, uh, just from a height standpoint, he's a little fatter. This is a little fatter. This is a leaner kind of look. Again, G1-ish look here, whereas this has uh, a little bit uh, fatter, meaner looking, short, stubby looking kind of ship. I do like the fact that the guns on top were on the legacy one, the guns here on the bottom. Uh, but I mean, from a color scheme with the red and the blue, the red, white, and blue, they get it right. I mean, this would be intimidating whether, which whichever ship came looking for me, if I was a Decepticon, I'd be very intimidated. So there's the top view right there. Let's go ahead and do kind of a side you can kind of see just from a side standpoint a little bit of just some of the differences there from a size as well as you know you got a little bit more kind of detail but you got these pegs here that's kind of if there's something that's going to go in there please let's put it there but here you don't have any of that it's very clean uh looking there and then on the bottom Again, I like the cleaner look of the Iron Factory one versus the Legacy one here. Uh, totally different transformations because the head for the Legacy one is right here, whereas the head for the Iron Factory one is right here. Uh, so, and then um, let's see, where else do we need to look? The fronts. And so here's another big difference. Uh, again, the silver, the red, just kind of the pointy tip there. Um, but, I mean... They're all good for their own purpose, uh, but which one do I prefer? I'm kind of digging this one right here. I mean, even though this is my, you know, going to go well with my legacy and my my chug line there, but from a from a uh, Iron Factory, this is the first time I've transformed something, uh, and I'm kind of digging you a little bit. You're, it was a little difficult, but it wasn't as like Magic Square difficult. If any of y'all have ever transformed any Magic Square stuff, oh my goodness! I mean, it's it's very very tough. So let's kind of just again, there we go, right next to each other. You can kind of see just from that scale aspect of. Um, what we're looking at. I do like these right here on the legacy uh, ship. That would be kind of cool if these were painted a little bit different, uh, maybe a little red outline here or something to kind of give it that look that these are the engines. Uh, but yeah, what do y'all think? Which one do you like better? 
ease of transformation goes to the legacy i mean very very simple but uh overall ship i think i i prefer iron factory ship so uh let's move you out of the way devcon and let's bring in another legend scale this is a tank now here is the booger bear about alt modes about some of these things this is not scale this ship would be way bigger than this tank right here you know uh at least in my opinion it would be way bigger than this tank but there's two legend vehicles together side by side uh and if you really want to see no scale <laughs> no scale november uh no <laughs> sorry um, there's the transformers legacy evolution blitzwing and you can kind of see just uh from a size kind of standpoint what's interesting from a length there you go I mean, let me see if i can move my hand out of the way so you can kind of see that but this is a little bit longer than the Blitzwing tank here, but uh, again, it's short. So if you're looking for something to scale well in vehicle mode, this is probably not your best bet here because of uh, like something like this guy right here. Uh, but from a robot standpoint, I think uh, Iron Factory really nails it on the head, but I really, really dig this. I think it's great. Uh, pretty awesome and so let's get back together and talk through some of my final thoughts and which one i prefer i mean i guess i already told you which one i prefer but let's officially tell you which one i prefer so let's do that let's go back to my other part of my lab and rock and roll well welcome back together for our final thoughts on galaxy ranger devcon which one should you get the iron factory Transformers Legacy, DevCon. Uh, so, but first, let's bring back in Galaxy Ranger. There he is. Put him back in his robot mode. I like the cannon on the side with the fist here and then the open hand over here. So that's what's cool is you get all sorts of possibilities for this little guy right here. And um, I'll tell you what, I am really falling in love with these Legend Scale figures. Now... Transformation wise, I'm not falling quite in love with some of them, like Magic Square. Every now and then I gotta build my courage to kind of transform those ones. But this one wasn't too bad once I kind of figured out how things went and kind of went, oh, that's what they mean by that in the instructions, or oh, that's what they mean on that. Now, the one thing is with this Iron Factory guy, I don't know what this little piece goes to. It came with him, and I have no freaking clue what that goes to. So if you know, let me know in the comments because I, inquiring minds want to know what that is. And so let's bring in G1 Legacy DevCon 2 as well. There they both are together. And again, more G1 accurate. Iron Factories kind of has that IDW feel. But from a alt mode, uh, I would have to give it to Iron Factory. I love the alt mode of this guy. It's very clean. I mean, even though this one's pretty slick, I mean, it's got the, the G1 look. I really like the, the chubby, fat, angular look of the Iron Factory one. But that's my opinion. Your opinion may be different. Uh, from a robot mode, I'm going to have to give it to this guy too as well. Over, over DevCon. Now, DevCon's not a bad figure. I'm glad I got him. I love having bounty hunters. You know, DevCon the bounty hunter uh, going after bounties of uh, Decepticons. But this guy is pretty wicked awesome. I mean, I, I am really, really enjoying playing with this. And the ab crunch, the more, the, from a posability standpoint, hands down this guy is going to win you get different hands you got uh, better posing options now leg wise devcon's legs are a bit better because i mean you can go all the way back and all the way forward whereas with him you cannot do that uh but i don't care he looks cool 
And now from a scale standpoint, the alt mode for this just doesn't scale well with some of the other uh, legend figures, in, in my opinion. Um, uh, but that's my opinion. You know what opinions are. You know, everyone has, uh, it's like they're like armpits. Everyone has two and they stink, right? Uh, unless you deodorize them with some very good deodorant. Now, if you think back to the glory days of a teenager, Axe Body Spray. Let me tell you something, teenagers, if you're watching this. Axe body spray is not a substitute for a shower. Take a shower, use some soap. People will thank you for that. Uh, I think the difference between someone who could be the president of the United States versus someone who cannot is whether one takes a shower or one covers up their mistakes with Axe body spray. So that's a little PSA for me. But DevCon, <laughs> I, I digress. I don't know where I get... My ADD mind just goes weird places, but... DevCon, Galaxy Ranger, Iron Factory, pick him up. Um, I think I got him for, I want to say either $25 or $30 overseas. Now, of course, I had to wait a few weeks for him, but it was cheaper. Now, if you are a person who cannot wait, you can pick him up in the States, but you're going to pay a little bit more for him. Uh, so... Uh, on a scale of good, bad, awesome, very awesome. Uh, between the two, this is this one's my favorite. Number one, number two. Number one, number two. Numero uno, president, vice president. Uh, this is Texas Roadhouse Rolls. This is KFC Biscuit. Nothing wrong with a KFC Biscuit, but sometimes they're hard. Texas Roadhouse, Roll, Rose, Roadhouse Rolls, I mean, with that honey butter and all that good stuff, this, that's him right there. He's my roadhouse right there. If I was to compare him to food, you know, he is the, uh, the Reese's peanut butter cup. Uh, this is the zero bar. Again, nothing wrong with the zero bar, but if he gave me a choice between a zero bar and a Reese's peanut butter cup, Reese's all day long. Even if I was allergic to peanuts, I would eat a Reese's and die knowing that I was very happy about that. I was happy with my decisions that I ate a Reese's. So I'm not allergic to Reese's, don't get me on that. I, I must be hungry because I'm talking about food and I'm talking about ADD and Axe body spray. So I probably need to take a shower too. But with that, uh, you know, that's my review of DevCon, Iron Factory, Galaxy Ranger. Which one should you get? That is up to you. If you're a G1 collector, go, go with the Legacy. I'm telling you, it's really great. But uh, if you want an alternate to it, Iron Factory, especially if you don't have any room. If you don't have a lot of room, Iron Factory is the way to go. I am running out of room, so legends are kind of becoming a necessity for me, especially if I want to continue collecting robots. So with that, thank you for listening to my rant, rave, and all that kind of stuff. This guy's awesome. This guy's pretty awesome. This guy's awesome. And so... Tune in next time when we review something else, amazing, whatever it may be. Probably uh, give you a hint, that guy. Uh, so, uh, but y'all remember to stay young, have fun, and be awesome. You be awesome now, be awesome. Go out and be awesome. Do something nice for somebody. Give somebody a hug uh, with permission, uh, but be awesome. I'll talk to you later.